Hello everyone, uh, this is Vanderlei and welcome to my channel Big Lay Deal. I want to start by thanking everybody that uh, did watch my, my first video and uh, did uh, like and uh, subscribe um, and also that left me some amazing uh, messages uh, encouraging me for, for doing what I'm doing. So thank you for that. And if you did not watch yet and uh, you would like to, yeah, please just check uh, my channel, Big Lady Deal, and find my previous video. Okay, um, about this is my journey. So today I'm going to talk about my health. And uh, I did promise to keep it short, so I will not talk about everything today. We'll start with my blood pressure. Okay, uh, I was diagnosed with uh, high blood pressure when I became an adult, so probably even before 18 and I've been on medication since that time so back there uh, I I had uh, good doctors that uh, did uh, check me like every six months and uh, sent me to do some like uh, exams something like uh, scintigraphy that I I've done so which is a very complex exam so thank you for checking and at that time um, I was told that uh, it might be genetic um, the reason why I've got blood pressure and I was told that I need to be on medication for life so which I was doing I was doing very well and uh, taking regularly until I came to the UK and uh, I was a period without medication then I went to see a doctor um, to start medication again and this doctor told me uh, so he said he checked my blood pressure it was normal and he said that um, uh, there's no need for me to be on high blood pressure medication because there's no stress in the United King Kingdom so which for me was not fun like to hear at that time but actually today I do thank him because I was about a year without any blood pressure medication so yeah so I'm still here so that's okay um, then I saw different doctor and I was put on medication so I started with one um, then changed medication because it wasn't working, then went to two, then went to three. Eventually, when we got to three medications, same time, um, I started having problems with my one of the markers, um, one of the proteins in my blood. I'm not sure if it's a kidney or liver. I was uh, affected and I had to stop one of the medication. And uh, yeah, so I was still with two. Then I saw another a doctor and uh, she checked my blood pressure on that day. It was normal blood pressure as well, I think 120, 80. And she decided to increase the medication. I asked her, so if my blood pressure is normal, so why would you like to do that? And she insisted in continuing and done that. From that day, I started questioning and I started thinking that actually this is not, that's not right. I was having all the symptoms, side effects of medications, um, the blood pressure medication, so headache, head fog, uh, etc. So people that take blood pressure medication, they know so some of the symptoms I, I was having. Yeah, so I start thinking about and start considering options. So one of the things I, um, so I, I decided is I wasn't taking medication regularly. But again, please um, do not take this. Um, so do not do this because this is, I'm talking about myself. So this is what I've done. So I've made a decision to stop taking medication regularly and looking for different alternatives. This is the moment I started exercising regularly, so four years ago. So I was jogging, I started with jogging, now I do jogging and I do some like a little lightweight exercise as well. Um, and I start uh, reading more about uh, blood pressure. So I also now read Bible, uh, thanks to my mom. <laughs> she sent me a Bible. And uh, so I understand that people struggle. Um, I understand that people overcome things and God is uh, in our lives and uh, he will help uh, so he's going to help me and he's helping me um, because I'm way way far from where I was in terms of anything in terms of my health so I still have got blood pressure and um, yeah so I've made a decision to not to take medication I'm taking other things so at the moment so I uh, one of the books mentioned about Goku Cola so it's one of the herbal like uh, uh, medication um, I think one of the Asian countries I believe which um, I've been taking, trying to 
to reduce my blood pressure. I think it did reduce a little bit, but I'm still having high blood pressure. So I don't check it every day. So that's not my thing. So I like to wake up without thinking that I need to check my blood pressure. But I wake up and I think I need to go and exercise <laughs> because that's what I want to do. So I came to a conclusion that I'm reading more. So there's one of the book I'm reading now is about eight weeks um, that you can lower your blood pressure in eight weeks. Um, sounds like promising. And it explains things like uh, in terms of uh, like some people are sensitive to salt, for example. And uh, so the benefit of salt may not a good thing as well. So I again, I try something new. So I became vegan um, about uh, 2019. And uh, now I have moved salt from my diet. So I exercise, I'm vegan, and I'm salt feed free diets. Um, some people were saying, so from what I watched before, that um, salt free diets, so you, they try 30 days and they felt tired and everything else. Um, again, I don't feel this way, I feel more energy. I feel so much energy that uh, some people will know. So some people that know me um, and watching this video, they will know that I'm doing things that I never thought I would be able to do. So uh, in terms of like uh, my awareness, awareness of things and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and I feel better. So, but like I said, this is me. This is what I've done. Um, if you need to make change in your life or anything else, you need to discuss once again with your. Uh, healthcare professional so this is not uh, to say what you should do this is about me so I've done that I've made a decision I'm a salt free diet at the moment I might continue this for life and this is again my choice another thing that I've been learning recently is about the compound effect and uh, it's something that um, never came across before I know that now that uh, because I started my routine of exercise four years ago and I changed my diet. I don't eat I don't eat fast food for many years since, like I don't know when, probably two years now. I don't drink fizzy drinks. I don't drink coffee. Um, so I drink water mainly. And uh, so of course the vegan diet um, that I started, um, which is not completely vegan because of course I take supplements um, like the cold liver that is not like uh, vegan. Uh, but the things I'm doing with the compound, ef compound effect is something that basically because I'm doing an habit repeatedly so then it will improve, like improve my health and it will continue improving that I will see amazing results. I'm already seeing that and uh, of course I know it's not an overnight thing in terms of like uh, I start exercising today, tomorrow I'm, I'm fit so I'm with a lot of like uh, like uh, fit muscles and things, it's, which is not even my, my purpose. I just want to feel well. So yeah, thank you. So like I said, I want to keep it short. So thank you for, for watching. And um, yes, if you would like to subscribe um, and listen to what I, I'm going to bring next, next time I'm going to talk about my joint pains and how it did affect me. So yeah, thank you again. And I see you next Sunday.